quick search uh, today we are going to talk about this particular paper MEG1 uh, in this particular video I will uh, tell from where you can uh, prepare all prepare uh, its material from for exam point of view and uh, in general as well so and also what uh, you have to study in this uh, particular paper MEG01 so uh, in this we have uh, I think 10 blocks uh, we have uh, eight or ten blocks and uh, in block one uh, the block one starts with the unit from the evolution of uh, portraits from from the evolution of portraits towards the explanation of the poems so this is a work evolution of portraits uh, in this there are various portraits and uh, from which we have to study only two uh, which is there in your uh, IGNU study material also uh, next uh, we have a prelude in the unit two we have a prelude to the study of poetry it is also uh, a poetry uh, this MEG01 is a British poetry paper so uh, from beginning till end uh, everything is there in this particular paper so in unit 2 there is the prelude to the study of poetry in the third unit there is age of Chaucer age of Chaucer starts from uh, 1340 till 1400 and uh, um, every, uh, and uh, this age is known as age of Chaucer because uh, of the phenomenal works of uh, Geoffrey Chaucer. So in unit 3 we have to study about this uh, age, the age of Chaucer. Uh, in the next unit the, uh, there is Chaucer's poetry, a general survey in general uh, 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 what Chaucer have written in his uh, uh, whole academic career in, in whole uh, in, in his uh, in the unit 5 we have this uh, general prologue um, where we have to a general prologue to the Canterbury Tales. Canterbury Tales is a poem uh, by uh, is a uh, poem by Geoffrey Chaucer, and it is a phenomenal poem by him. And uh, we have to study about its prologue because uh, it is uh, it is in parts, and the first part is its prologue, where he is introducing all the characters of this uh, Canterbury Tales. Uh, if you have studied uh, English, if you are a student of English literature, you will know that how uh, Chaucer's poetry uh, is and how this Canterbury Tales is an, a very important work. So uh, in the unit 5, we have to uh, read about the general prologue and uh, in uh, there are uh, 29 tales 29 pilgrims and there are 24 tales in a whole so uh, from there we have only study we have to one uh, tale which is nun's priest tale it is a very uh, beautiful story uh, which is narrated by the nun's priest nun's priest is one of the character in this canterbury journey uh, among these 29 pilgrims he is the uh, he is the one so uh, all these things these things we have to study in the block one uh, if i talk about from where you can study these things you can study uh, from any uh, history book uh, if i talk about this particular poems that is the canterbury tales or the portrait uh, evaluation of portraits so you have to read the separate books other than that you can go for uh, other uh, for the general uh, overview you can go for any um, uh, history uh, British history book uh, maybe it is of uh, Edward Albert or by William J Long uh, also the IGNU study material IGNU which have uh, the study material which has provided uh, provided by the IGNU it is also uh, quite uh, Surreals to go for it. Uh, also, one more thing that you can study this from this uh, notes, which is uh, based on the previous year questions, and it it, it, it comes for uh, all the 
uh, courses and uh, it uh, see there is Chaucer's poetry uh, we have also uh, uh, taken the questions which has came in previous years so you can study these things also uh, so let us talk about the block two in block two we have a uh, taking in the Spencer. In block 1 there is Chaucer's poetry and some medieval poetry. In block 2 there is the study of Spencer uh, and uh, in Spencer has written his works in the Renaissance period. So uh, in unit 8 firstly we have to see about the uh, Renaissance what was the Renesa, what is uh, how Renesa came from where Renesa came and uh, it is about a historical event or historical journey which uh, we can study from any uh, again from any history uh, British history books other than that we have to uh, see the biographies of Edmund Spencer uh, he is one of uh, the the three as we, uh, which uh, we could read in the Elizabethan age, one of them is uh, Edmund Spencer. Uh, Espen uh, and, and in the unit 11, there is Spencer's poetry. In block 3, we have metaphysical. All these things, uh, as I have already told you, all these things are available in this uh, year. Uh, in this notes which we are providing so if you want you can take it uh, the number is on the screen uh, in block 3 uh, we have this metaphysical poets metaphysical poets was a group of poets who used to write uh, their poetry in such a manner that they have used uh, the far fetched imagery in the uh, in the in their poetry and uh, and uh, one more thing about metaphysical poets that they were not famous uh, during the 17th uh, century they were they became famous much later uh, the uh, one of the essay which was written by uh, T.S. Eliot which made them famous more than uh, they were actually famous in their age that is the 17th century so in metaphysical poets we have Dunn and George Herbert, John Dunn and George Herbert in unit 12 we have uh, to study the poetry and the society in the 17th century as we uh, as I have already told so many times that for reading a text in uh, uh, in uh, literature you have to know about the background about the uh, era about the century so uh, Similarly, so uh, in this uh, point, there is a uh, unit 12 in which we, we have to study the poetry and society in the 17th century. In the next uh, unit, there is John Donne's portrait of man in his thematic and technical innovation in the textual study of four love poems, the four love poems which was written by John Donne. Uh, we have to study about that. Next, in the John Donne, uh, John Donne is the a representative of metaphysical poetry so uh, there is so much concern about John Donne and uh, there is a uh, uh, in unit 14 again there is John Donne in which we have to explore the poems of love and faith uh, of John Donne uh, in the next unit we have George Herbert uh, a study of uh, poems in the next day we have Andrew Marvel uh, in which uh, we have to study his poems Andrew Marvel's poems in uh, now we have a uh, block four block four we have to study about Milton where we will study the late Renaissance period Milton uh, now the journey of Milton the life journey of Milton is also very important so uh, first in unit 17 we have to study about the age and then uh, the life of uh, Milton uh, then uh, the uh, one of the poem uh, one of the prolific poem by uh, John uh, yeah, George Milton is uh, on the morning of Christ and nativity and uh, the Lycidas so these two poems we have to study in unit 20 and unit 21 uh, there are two uh, comparative poems that is uh, uh, El Alighiero and Tu Pensero uh, these are the sonnets uh, which we have to uh, study in block 5 there is neoclassical poets Dryden and Pope Pope is the uh, 
representative of uh, augustan age so uh, we have to study uh, and uh, dryden is also famous for his works so uh, in unit 22 there is age of dryden in unit 23 there is john dryden uh, about john dryden and uh, in unit uh, 24 there is mac which is which is a poem by john uh, dryden in next 25 26 in, in the unit 25 and 26 we have to study about the po about pope uh, about pope uh, a work uh, which is written by Pope, an epistle to Dr. Arbuthnot, uh, in which Pope describes uh, it is a uh, autobiographical poem by Pope uh, which he has written to his friend uh, during uh, his friend's last uh, years. And uh, next, uh, the study of an epistle to Dr. Arbuthnot, it, in which he has uh, given his uh, point of view towards his critical works and in uh, block six uh, uh, we have to study romantic poets i think all the literature students at least know about this uh, these romantic poets blake wordsworth and goldries these are the first generation poets which we have to study in block six in unit 27 28 uh, 29 30 and uh, 30 uh, in which we uh, have to uh, we have few uh, poems by them that is kubla khan or dejection to an ode by coleridge and uh, other than that we have to in general study uh, william blake william wordsworth and uh, st coleridge in block seven uh, uh, we are going to study the second generation romantic poets Shelley and Keats the poet of volcanic hope P.V. Shelley these are the second generation poets the, the uh, all these are the romantic writers but the first generation and second generation there are uh, some changes in their point of view so in the block 7 we are going to study these three uh, later romantic poets that is Shelley and Keats um, one more is there but it is not in our syllabus so we have to only see the uh, two that is uh, Shelley and Keats. In the block 8 we have Victorian poets that is uh, Browning, Robert Browning, D.G. Rossetti, Christina Rossetti, Oscar Wilde. One thing we have to see here that D.G. Rossetti and Christina Rossetti belongs to a group that is uh, pre-Raphaelite poets and um, uh, Browning and Oscar Wilde are representative of these Victorian age where uh, they are representing the uh, Victorian age in whole that how this age was uh, they are representing uh, the uh, picture uh, picture of this Victorian age other than that uh, Browning is also known for his uh, dramatic monologue it's a, it is a type of poetry which came uh, into being in Victorian age uh, some uh, poems were also written by Tennyson and um, Browning is the representative of this particular uh, uh, particular type of poetry so in uh, block 8 was about that in block 9 we have to study about the modernist poets in which we have wbh t.s Eliot's. Uh, i think everyone knows about this t.s Eliot in which we have to study the wasteland uh, the modern british poetry wbh's uh, easter poetry is also there in block 10 we have uh, some modernist and postmodernist poets that is Dalan Thomas, Philip Larkin and Sylvia Palt. So uh, all these things are there in your paper and you can ace this paper easily by reading uh, obviously the IGNU, IGNU study materials and also if you uh, the, uh, for exam point of view you can take these notes uh so that's all for this video if you want the number is on the screen uh you can call and uh, talk about it uh, everything is there in the notes uh everything is there and uh, i have already said the chaucer's age there is uh, wasteland is also there everything which you will need for uh, the exams it is there in your uh, notes so if you want notes you can study from there other than that you uh, other than that if you don't want if you don't want to uh, spend money or uh, you can ace this paper also through the uh, igno study material and or other books like uh, edward albert william j long and uh, particularly by studying the poetry po poems of uh, also that's all for today Thank you.